Well, all that topic there, and again, a major topic, though, unsourced, but reported by Axios, a potential two-state solution uh, submitted, or rather looked at, by this administration on top of, of an opinion piece written in the New York Times about it. We want to bring in Floor Hassan Nahum, the deputy mayor of Jerusalem. We want to bring in Tal Heinrich, the spokesperson for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. So let's get this on the record. Uh, deputy Mayor, thank you so much for joining us. I, if I could start with you on this, a two-state solution here. Uh, if you dive into, and again, an, an opinion piece written in the New York Times by Thomas Friedman, he calls it the Biden Doctrine. Uh, and it deals with a demilitarized Palestinian state uh, that would be pitched or pursued uh, by this specific administration. Um, Axios reported two sources that the State Department was looking for a two-state uh, solution uh, between Palestinians and Israel. Is that even on the table, Deputy Mayor? You know, it's funny. People are talking like this is our first rodeo. We've been trying this since the 1930s. In the 1948, the UN offered two-state solutions. The Palestinians said no, and Israel said yes. And of course, they launched a war to destroy Israel. In 1967, they launched another war to destroy Israel. They didn't succeed, 73. And then in the 90s, we started a process exactly for this, for a two-state solution, which was offered to Arafat in 2000, and then again offered to Mahmoud Abad in 2009. And at every given juncture, when the Palestinian leadership could have selected, could have decided to create a state for their people, they chose war, violence, and terrorism. And I don't know what anybody think has changed here when we've just had a massacre on the October 7th and the Hamas leadership, which is now, you know, apart from the fact that they were controlling Gaza, they also have public opinion, 75, 80% public opinion in the West Bank. And they've said very clearly that they don't want a two-state solution because they want the destruction of Israel. So if we were talking about making peace with Gandhi or Nelson Mandela, perhaps there would be a chance. But this is not the reality. So we can talk in theories from the State Department and we can look at the reality that there's not one Palestinian leader that has ever been prepared to make peace for one very simple reason, because the problem of this conflict is not that there is no Palestinian state. The problem of this conflict is that there's a Jewish state. And ideologically, they have never been able to accept this. And uh, another topic touched on is Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, and that's where I'll bring in Tal Heinrich on this. Uh, there's talks that within this war, this conflict ongoing here, uh, within Gaza, specifically in the IDF within Gaza at this time, that there is no uh, real plan for Palestinians or Gaza moving forward. And that is uh, falling on the shoulders of, again, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. That's why there needs to be this two-state solution. Uh, there, that's why there needs to be this Biden doctrine. Again, an opinion piece I'm citing from the New York Times, uh, but then also, again, Axios as well. Again, unnamed sources at this time. Can you respond to that? Um, this, uh, again, uh, American reporting here, is there any weight to it? So, Sean, there is a plan, and the prime minister articulated it um, before October 7th, even in his book, and more so after October 7th. The prime minister says that for the uh, time being, the near future, Israel will have to maintain security control over uh, uh, the Gaza Strip and also some, some security presence, rather, on the ground in the Gaza Strip to guarantee that once we eliminate Hamas, we don't see a resurgence of terrorism, as well as the area west of the Jordan River. Uh, uh, keep in mind, uh, going back to what Floor said before, that every time Israel made territorial withdrawals, gave concessions, cut more slack to the Palestinians, um, uh, more economic incentives, so to say, it was answered with more bloodshed, more terrorism, more missiles raining on our communities, and as of recently, with the October 7th massacre. <laughs> Um, so uh, the scheme that the prime minister, uh, the formula that he has put forward is that down the road, after the right conditions are in place, which means that Gaza will be demilitarized and de-radicalized, the Palestinians should have all of the powers to govern themselves, yet none of the powers that could threaten Israel. It is that simple. All right, got to leave it right there. Flor Hassan Nahum, uh, deputy mayor there, and also Tal Heinrich, uh, spokesperson for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, ladies, thank you so much. It's great to see both of you. We appreciate you weighing in on that.